this um, budget, uh, dividing the budget when you go to fundraise. You advised on this, and uh, my question would be if um, if you have an experience with uh, this kind of shared budget, and if companies are interested in um, having, let's say, a brand association. As in the normal business world, whenever you want to go and to sponsor an event, there's you find this problem. I don't want to be part together because... Uh, well, actually, splitting the budget what it is, means to uh, then correctly identify what you need. Yeah, because translate basically in money uh, a physical thing like I don't know flyers let's give an example like computers if we talk about bigger, bigger projects a bed uh, sheets um, I don't know uh, some uh, office uh, office supplies so on so basically you just have to translate the money into items but uh, okay, but it's still, easier. You, 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 okay, that, that may be easier if you if you apply well, for uh, let's say material sure. sponsor. Well, actually, you just have to tell them I need money for this item, and I think you, because you are an office supplier, mm -hmm. you can provide me this for a sponsorship because it is related directly to your business. This is the, the idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, uh, do you guys have experience in, in this, with this shared budget uh, with, with companies who maybe didn't want or maybe want to associate, have uh, their image associated with other companies? Do you find it easy to implement? Or, no, just if you, if you can well, tell no, me from orange, experience. Orange will not finance low people because Vodafone has, has financed low people. Uh, Carl's Monteiro says just make sure their logo is like... Uh, Carful Core, they're two also sponsors of little people. What I mean sponsors, Carful doesn't give us cash. They give us a facility to put our boxes like Sensi Blue on their tills. And Core runs an in-house program, and we're the beneficiary of an in-house program. But again, it's the customers giving the money, not Core themselves. Okay, they're very particular how their logos are placed next to each other. Does that answer your question? Yes. Kind of? So uh, the answer is that yes, we can uh, probably you know, the only industry where they're all happy to have their logos next to each other is the pharmaceutical industry. If you do a no, medical we, conference, yeah. they're like, they have GSK, exactly. Novartis, Roach, and they're like, oh, well, it's amazing, you know, because they're kind of evil companies, but they're not really. But you know what I mean? Uh, I think what would be helpful is to go in in advance and tell them that you know that issue that they have. Again, if you say to the market manager, yes, well, we have received funding, but we can work with you on it, again, they'll be more proactive if you're trying to say up front that you can figure out a solution for them. It's interesting when you go up for a solution for them sometimes, they appreciate it. Yes? Um, uh, yeah, you have to say? It's hard sitting next to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. Um, I, I'm fundraising for a new project, and the strategy that comes for this, this project really is based upon finding a market leader within each sector. And then identifying that, approaching them, if they don't sponsor, then we move to the next leader within that sector. Now, we've been doing that at Little People for many, many years, actually. But in this one particular uh, project, it's, it's actually coming from on, on top. It's the structure we've been doing in the UK. So, thank you. Thank you for the question. Ma'am. Um, my name is Christina Stavrowski from Link Education and Education. Um, I got your support. I'm here. I'm just moving. Since, since we talked about finance, we haven't really talked about numbers, about money specifically. Um, has it ever happened that there was too little that you asked, was asked for you, that the sum of money didn't make sense to the project, or it was too much? How, much, how little is too little, and how uh, much is too much? How much, how much is too much? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I think we had a, a request for six. Okay, yes, but it was just, as I, as I told you before, it was just one line in that budget. We need 2,000 lei to do this. Okay, so did that work for you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. 
yeah, we were there and we, you know, you just have to look at the project and you say, and it's something like, okay, they need that amount to make the project work. If I will help them, probably, then their project will work. So why not? Uh, the second question, uh, do you have, you've talked a lot about the marketing departments and just again about the HR. Do the departments communicate to them? And does the CSR become marketing and then they uh, I have to talk about this one. <laughs> I, yes. do a lot. I, 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 yeah, I deal a lot with this as, as a profession and being around a lot of institutions. Uh, they are on silos, generally speaking. They'll have one or two meetings a year where they talk about rah, 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 yay, we have this to discuss, but it's really hard to find communication. The good NGOs that get this idea, you have to be a link to the departments. So use it. You look at it as if you meet the marketing manager. Now you know somebody's name. You're having a discussion. You go talk to the HR manager. I just talked to Cinciana, blah, 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 and Estonica. She's great. We're working with them. Oh, you know Cinciana. But you, and you have to connect the dots. It's your job in here to connect. Make their, make their work easier for them to love you. Yeah. Like we're going to work. Try to invite the HR to volunteer. Smart. It's a beginning. And you have to know the cat bites in between, too. It, it, it's quite difficult because each company has their own hierarchies. Yeah, they do. They do have their hierarchies. And there's one person or one group of people that make the decision of the hierarchies. And that's who you need to it's try to really get in front of. <laughs> it is tricky. And the third practical question, um, is there a difference between a uh, sponsorship contract or uh, providing services for sometimes outside the foundation for helping uh, profits because they fund it as a marketing activity. Yeah. So it's about the budget as well. Okay, and uh, very... I'm sorry. We okay. can have one after I had, I had three questions. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. We have to go over here. Okay. Hello everybody, my name is Katarina Zampirei. I work for Plantam Facte Bune. We plant good deeds. And I have a very business oriented question for all of you. Um, when we apply to a fundra fundraiser, what do you think it is the appropriate amount in the budget allocated to the human resources part of the NGO? A percentage. Uh, every you mean salaries? Yes, yeah, salaries. Yes. A percentage, according to your experience. Like how much we should ask? If, oh yeah, no! How probably. much we pay a fundraiser? No, not the fundraiser because human resources in an NGO implies a lot of costs. Not only the fundraiser; it also implies the communication person, the executive director. If you have um, other types of activities, you also have other employees working for the NGO. So you know, and I know the NGO we. What we love the most is unrestricted financing, right? Because if you put a lot there, it's oh, yeah. Sounds like a dream. <laughs> no, but that, that, believe it or not, our philosophy of little people is 50 to 60% of our financing unrestricted because that covers salaries. So if we're going to grow, we need to get that financing. How do you get that financing? Well, it is like the mechanisms in place in Romania 2%, charity boxes social businesses affiliated to your cause because hey that's money you're making no one has to tell you how it's going to be spent i mean of course there's accountability but you understand 
So that is the key because I know corporates that will not pay salaries. They'll pay everything else except the, the expert that makes it all happen. Which yeah. is a bit ding dong, but hey, that's the way it is. Well, I think no? also um, for grants that coming for the for profit side, they also, some of them mentioned that they only pay the salaries, for example, uh, for the social workers only and not for the rest of the. the I have yeah. the experience. I work for Atelier for a Frontier and I have the experience on that issue, but I really could use your, your uh, examples and maybe some from the audience as well.